14 Kitchen fans, welcome back. I'm glad to see you again. Once again, I'm really not seeing you, you're seeing me, but you get the drift. We're all together. Just through no, the internet. No, stop. 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 No. No. All right, so. You're already embarrassing yourself. I'm Brian Carper, as you, some of you know, some of you don't. So let me, thank you for joining in. Let me show you what we're going to make today. We're going to, this is going to be something that's not faint of, faint of, faint of heart. You can't, if you're going to have little heart problems, you don't want to watch this video. You might pass out from the delicious, bring it back up, for the delicious goodness that's about to take place here. All right. If you don't know me already, I can't make anything simple. All right. You really can't. And so here we have a grilled cheese sandwich. There's more to it. And you're sitting here going, why is he going to show us how to make a grilled cheese sandwich? Well, let me tell you. I already showed them this stuff. It's going to be a bacon mac and cheese grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, yeah. Trust me, there's only a couple calories in this. All right, so what we're going to need, we're going to need macaroni, which I've already got pre-cooked. Wait, a couple calories? Just a couple calories. Just a few. Not a lot? A smidgen, a tiny bit, a little bit. I don't believe that. Just a more set of calories. I don't believe that. Right, so, of course you gotta have bacon. I've already cut my bacon up. Well, shredded my bacon up. Get out of the bacon. Got a little bit of bacon grease reserved. Alright. That's some good bacon. Milk. Onion salt. Regular salt. Black pepper. Oh. Swiss cheese. Is this the... Uh, Oh. Milk, very good. The other milk? Um, mild, mild cheddar, Colby, Colby Jack. Swiss. And then Velveeta. Sure. All right. Velveeta's going to give it that creaminess. All right, that's for the macaroni. So when we go to make our grilled cheese, we got a little bit more Velveeta and some sharp cheddar that we're going to add to it. Because, you know, you can't have enough cheese. Unless, well, get away. Not that far. You told me to get away. All right, so let's start building our mac and cheese. Come on over. All right, so as you can see, I already got the macaroni pre-cooked. Yeah. Gosh, you're annoying kid. <laughs> I'm gonna hire a new cameraman. This is ridiculous. You totally right, so didn't see it. Got some Velveeta in here. You gotta put a little butter in there, about a half stick. Oh, funny story. This happened to me because of him. He said, No time hey, for stories. We're building mac and cheese here. Hey, chef, you aren't milk. supposed to talk. Um, so, he said, How about you try that white cheese? And so I picked it up and grease. I put it in my mouth and started eating it. And then I was like, Wait, this isn't cheese. This is butter. Swiss. As you can see, my measurements are so exact. And yes, I've got him to eat the white butter. Some mild cheddar. You don't have to keep bouncing back and forth. But I do. Colby Jack. Bacon. Pepper. Not too much because it will overpower your mac and cheese. Just a touch of salt because the bacon's gonna add some salt to it. And just a touch of onion salt if I can get onion salt open. There we go. You should prop you should probably clean that. Hey, Dad. Shh. The viewers are um, okay. stirring. All right, so when you do your onion salt, you don't want too much of the onion salt because, once again, it's very powerful and will take over your macaroni and cheese. So just a touch. Now we're going to give this a good stirring. All right, get everything to melt down. And we'll come back when all this is finished. All right, the mac and cheese is all done now. Come take a look at this. 
It's nice and cheesy. I mean, it's probably gonna stick to the wall if I threw it on there. It's that cheesy. You should try it. Actually, cameraman, you get to try it. Wow, that's really hard, isn't it, for you to eat? Most people don't have that much trouble eating mac and cheese. Was it good? Yes. It was good? Did you expect any different? I didn't. All right, so cameraman. Why don't you turn the camera around and face me? Thank you, Dork. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start making our sandwich. He always makes fun of me. All right. I don't know why. So. All right, we're gonna use some chipotle mayo. Most people would put butter on the outside of it, but we're using chipotle mayo first, okay? So I already spread it on this, get a little thick. I'm using Texas toast. I got some melted butter already going in the pan. So we gotta move fast. You can just leave the camera over here. You're moving pretty slow. Okay, now there are two slices here, what the Coming? Yep. Cheddar cheese. Apparently, I can't count. That was three. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, four. Sorry, guys. I have to teach him better. Right. I really am sorry. Take our mac and cheese now. Big glob of mac and cheese. Look at it, it's stuck all over the spoon. This is so cool. How oh, are you going to get that off? <laughs> Eventually eat it. All right, so a nice glob of mac and cheese. My mouth is already watering. This is going to be several different textures and flavors. Oh. You can make this with leftover mac and cheese. It's actually really good with leftover mac and cheese. Because I don't know about you, whenever you make mac and cheese, you always have a bunch. You can use Kraft mac and cheese if you like but nothing beats homemade. So, all right, now we're gonna throw... Velveeta. Velveeta on top. Velveeta. Velveeta. Oh yeah, when I told you there's cheese. Oh, uh, you meant There's it. cheese. And then when I say there's an amazing puppy, I mean, I, I never said that. Well, he's an amazing puppy. Get her. He's awesome. Oh, he's putting more stuff on it. What is that uh, stuff, Dad? This is chipotle mayo. I almost forgot to put it on the inside, too. You did, but you did. I know. I gotta go and put it on the inside. Wait, what? What are we listening to? Today? Oh, what we're listening to. This is one of my, um, I got several friends in this band. It's called Eric Pettit Lion. They're out of Burlington, Iowa. See the shirt? That's a cool shirt. Yes, it is. And they're cool guys. Like that guy right there. Uh, hey, here we go. Yeah. So, I'm going to squeeze a little chipotle in there. A little chipotle mayo. As you see, I'm not even real concerned about how evenly I do it. Are we going to eat this on the side? Um, that's right. Oh, oh look, somebody's here. Thank goodness the dog told us. All right, so it looks like up. a Brendan. Somehow the cheese stayed on top. All right, well, you can see this. When you use mayo, it gives it that beautiful, beautiful covering. Oh, we almost got this bad boy it cooked. It looks like an amazing s'more. All right. Doesn't take long to cook these. Now, like I said, this is just a little, little bit of calories, not many. So I wouldn't believe that for a second. There's at least four calories. Okay, I will at say least that, one. Four calories. Well, I guess this is only eight. <laughs> at least eight calories. Isn't that correct, sir? We're melting this down really well now, chef. What's up? So there's at least right. eight calories in this. Let me grab these up. That looks amazing. 
I want that to be a little darker. You mean like this? Mm-hmm. I want that nice toast on there. Get some of that cheese melted. My mouth is still watering. I think, uh, would you get out the dog? Sorry. We don't need to show the dog drinking his, he was, his water. No, he is eating his food. All right, so we're almost got this done here. <laughs> <laughs> that voice you're hearing in the background is it's me. my oldest son, Brendan. Yeah, this is what we deal with. Okay, come on back. <gasps> wow! Eight oh. lockers. <laughs> yeah. no. I know. I wanted to lock him in. No. Shut the door. Okay, so we're gonna. Oh, I want, we have water right All there. All right, this is going to be perfect here now. It's time to pull these bad boys off. You can see the cheese is melting. Look at that. It's like beautiful. That is well, like a perfect well, grilled cheese. It's not cheese. melted here. There, the cheese wasn't all melted. Usually I don't like grilled cheese, but I'm going to give this a chance. These things weigh a ton. I want to see right, how much they weigh. Up. Oh wait, we're making multiple plates. And we're gonna cut this now. Let me get a knife. We should cut it down flat. Wait, no. why? Any? Are you still recording? Yeah. Good. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. I know I am. This, this, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the ultimate grilled cheese. Why'd you take from the Why'd you take the camera from me? Take the camera from me. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy this. I know I will. All right, guys. If you need the recipe, just instant message me, or I'll put it at the bottom of my video today or tomorrow. Depends when I get this uploaded. Oh, whenever. Or whenever. It'll be there. Just look for it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Make it yourself. And remember, no calories. We should tell mom that because, yeah.